families are cleaning up after Saturday's catastrophic tornado outbreak. We know some, unfortunately, are planning funerals for the people they lost. Tough to think about. Joylyn Bukovac is live for us in Clarksville, where a memorial has started for one of the young victims, Joylyn. Yeah, that's right. And on Saturday, I talked to neighbors who told me they did everything they could to try to save Arlen Cody's life. Absolutely heartbreaking. And there's now a memorial that has started right in front of Arlen's house right here. This is on Henry Place Boulevard. The house was wiped out in the tornado that hit on Saturday here in Clarksville. And Arlen was only 10 years old, but his mom made a post on Facebook which stated, if anyone can say that they lived a full life at 10, it was him. She described him as a compassionate, caring, and incredibly intelligent person, always sharing fun facts with his family. Arlen's dad's co-workers were devastated when they heard the news, so they made a GoFundMe to help. He would talk about Arlen and all of his kids and how proud he was of them, how much he loves them, and the whole family very tight-knit, and just seeing the devastation and what they would have to go through, we thought we needed to immediately get him some funds. Arlen and two and two others died in the Clarksville tornado. The other two victims are 34-year-old Stephen Hayes of Clarksville and 59-year-old Donna Allen. She was in town from Florida visiting family for Christmas. And Arlen's family said they are just overwhelmed by the support the community has shown them over the past few days. Uh, his funeral is on Sunday, and everyone in attendance is asked to wear black, purple, or gold for the Lakers. That was Arlen's favorite team. Reporting live in Clarksville, I'm Drillin Bukovac, WSMB4.